Me, being active. Johnny story. My name is Charlie Sony, and at the moment we are in Royal Bank of Scotland. I suffer from an eye condition called retinitis pigmentosa, and it's quite severe. Um, my left eye is basically light perception, and right eye is a bit of shapes. For a long time, I've been just focusing on my career. I graduated, went on to work, um, and uh, for a good few years, I never focused on my health. And I remember that um, I attended, uh, I participated in a spin challenge for diabetes. And we had to spin for eight minutes and I was struggling even doing that. And it's after that I realized that how bad my fitness has been since I've started working and sitting on a chair like 10 to 12 hours every day. Where Jay comes in to help me, as soon as I get in, she meets me at the reception, takes me round, she helps me for an hour pretty much, is with me, taking me from one machine to another, operating the machines for me. She's an instructor. If I'm doing anything wrong, she'll tell me, adjust my body positioning. Basically, makes my whole experience absolutely brilliant. Don't bench back to put a slight more bend in your knees. Yeah, mm -hmm. down. There we go. Oh, that's heavy. <laughs> Two more then. Because she's visually impaired, I would need to obviously ensure that the pathway that we take towards her machines are clear. She knows that I will guide her through a safe path. We will still push her towards her goal, so it, despite the fact that she does have a visual impairment, it doesn't stop her body from doing everything else that it can do. So we're still going to push her, she's still going to sweat, she's still going to ache in the next couple of days like everyone else. On their websites, when you look, they say that they are accessible, and by that, what they mean is providing a room for changing for people with disabilities or um, providing a lift, that kind of thing. But that's, that's fine to an extent that, yes, you can access the building and you can change your clothes, but what the hardest part is actually accessing all the machines. And, um, a lot of uh, mainstream gyms don't actually provide that service. I guess that's where the cost comes in. This all, you know, finding a gym which is accessible, this requires a lot of time, a lot of research, a lot of digging around. There are people out there who may not be comfortable doing that, but, you know, we've got to start somewhere. And if you find a gym, just force yourself, push yourself, and just go in, and you'll see the difference that it makes in your life. I've made a lot of friends here. Uh, not only just in the gym, I talk to them. Um, I actually see them outside work as well and go for a drink sometimes with them. In my scenario, I mean, fine, I cannot see, but that shouldn't stop me from being not, not looking after myself. You know, at the end of the day, yes, I have a disability and I just need to get on and I need to look after myself. And if I look after myself, I feel good. And if I feel good, I feel positive.